ignition canister for my 2001 Pathfinder and this one is the brand new one. You can see in the screw hole here there's no crack. You know, this new thing, there's no crack. It's a brand new uh, canister. 149501 S718 Nissan. And this one you can see um, the screw hole as my finger is pointing here there's a crack okay and it's uh, 10x 149501 S718 so this is the emission the broken emission evap you can see that crack is on this side on the 3 o'clock also the 6 o'clock and also the nine o'clock and the nine o'clock actually cracks into the canister you know it's very small very tiny you can't even really tell this uh, hairline crack you know but it's more of a crack on the three at the three o'clock um, position the six o'clock and nine o'clock it's not that not as much you know so this is my old Nissan Pathfinder canister. And this is the OEM, the original Nissan uh, um, that's arrived today. So I'm going to put this on. Hopefully, no more P0440 or 460, uh, 446. All that craps. You know, hopefully, the engine codes will disappear after this fix. So now I'm going to mount this. Canister position. This one, this screw actually rusted uh, and just like this one. So I just drill this hole here and then uh, um, put a wall grabber kind of thing uh, into the hole. And I just put a screw here to lock this in. And now it's rock solid. Same thing with this one. Now this piece is not moving. So now these two pieces are um, rock solid together. The thing I did same thing, I drew a hole here so that uh, the original screw was here, the knot hole was here. That broke off. Mount the new uh, the three holes. So now I have the screws down and uh, I have a wind knot that I can just um, after I put the canister up, I just lock it with the wind knot for this one and also this one and also this one. Um, and then uh, it will be very easy to remove as well. Is get the and then um, you get bound this uh, canister. Okay, so I'm gonna mount the canister. Okay, as you can see, I'm putting the screw in, and then I use a wind knot to lock it. Okay, and then you can see, and yeah, this here canister is going up. This is my wind knot. So you lock this one. Oh, oh boy. As you can see, struggling.
that one seemed to be hitting. This one seemed to be mounted or something. Just trying to turn the wind on now. There you go. So that one seems to be holding. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this off. As you can see I'm facing up under the truck which is very hard because all the rust and dirt keep falling onto my face. I'm lying on the ground with my back against the floor. So I'm facing up to the bottom of the truck which is very dirty. This is really some dirty work. Okay, I got that. Screw you. I just have this last one I need to screw in and, and I'm done. Press the wind knot. Come on. to get that because as you can see it's behind this and Here we go. You can see it's very hard to get this one. I'm gonna have to stop filming and uh, lock the wind nut for that and over there. So that one is done already, so I'm just trying to get this one. Okay, so you can see this one is kind of hard. I need to use my finger to try to hold on to the middle. So the middle does not turn and just the wind now will turn. And now it's tight. Okay, so that's tight. And this one is tight. That one is tight. All three are tight. I'm good. Hook up all the hook up all the pipes and I'm uh, done. Okay. Now I just need to hook up this of this veil control. And then I'm done. Let me get my uh
as you hear a click. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that click. We're gonna turn this 180 degrees into that hole. Push down. Push this hole in. Push this hole in. There we go. And get the two screws in. And we're in business. There we go. And then this one in. And that's it. And my caster. Okay. And this one. Too. Now I just need to put the hose clamp back in, and that's it. The hose clamp is actually not that bad to do. It's just I don't have the right. I need to get my right. Uh, see that? Okay, that's it. That one is done. And just these two. There you go. That one is done. This one. There you go. This one is done. All the hoses are connected. to the uh, canister. So we're in business. And this one, I'm just gonna hook it up, hook it back up into that hole. And I'm gonna try to waterproof the things before it gets too bad and it rust it away. I'm gonna waterproof that. No, um, yeah. So that's it. This uh, dirt panel behind the tire, so I'm gonna. Yeah. 